Good morning from uh, Inle Lake. So I am on the way to my uh, boat trip. That's my hotel on the back side. If you can see, this is my uh, hotel Inle Star, and uh, I'll, this is the view from my room. I'll just show you my room. This is the, the just perfect location. And this is my room. Not very big, but uh, clean and perfect for one person. That's the Almira. TV, two windows overlooking the pagoda, and the washroom is also very clean. So I don't complain about it. And you can't guess the price at which I got this hotel room for two nights. I got it for uh, like 1500 Indian rupees. Imagine that. Good deal, great deal. And uh, the boat is also just near in front the boat like jetty where you boat this boat is just in the front of the hotel so with the hotel i, I got very lucky and uh, let's board this boat okay that one okay 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 no problem i go in this one Wow. <laughs> the boat is just shaking left and right ready for my boat trip about the journey here uh, I selected this bus I didn't select the bus I asked my hostel uh, to book this bus for me and uh, they selected some local uh, private kind of bus like we also have these options of private taxi private buses in Delhi but this was like horrible first of all uh, everyone was saying that this was 8 to 10 hours of journey it was not 8 to 10 hours of journey it was uh, 16 hours of journey we started 7 30 and uh, we arrived in this inlay area at uh, what 11 30 in the morning so okay it was a bad experience uh, and I take a learning from that and I have a lot of uh, bus journeys in this trip so I would make sure I will select a good bus so now we are off to our uh, boat trip behind me is my guide and we are heading for our boat trip that's my hotel that's the Nuang Shui, Nuang Shui town
a very vast lake. It's not a small lake. It's a very vast lake. As far as you can see. So this is the famous uh, fisherman of uh, Myanmar of this uh, inlay lake who are rowing their boats not by hand but by legs yes so these are the famous fishermen so they have learned this skill over a long period of time their fathers grandfathers and everyone was doing this so this is very interesting yes Silversmith, you know, silver silversmith, silversmith, okay. and then ham, cigar, tobacco, sweet tobacco, banana tobacco, okay, sweet tobacco, chilu, chilu, cigar, okay. and then after pagoda, okay. on the pagoda, and then come back uh, on the way back, fisherman, okay, and then go back. Okay. Now it at one plus uh, sunset, including sunset also, finish, and then enjoy you interesting the. Uh, the bridge, you know, the bridge and the lawn, the bridge is interesting, floating village, okay. only water floating the bridge. Okay. Uh, now, if you want to go sunset, uh, the bridge too, uh, you can be a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more for the boat, uh, money. 50, okay. 50. Okay. 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 Let's go. Also no including problem. anything. Okay. Yes, yeah. because I want to come back for the sunset. Sunset, yeah, on the way back. Yes, sunset, I yeah. want to see the sunset. Also on including interesting floating village, the bridge, yes, you know, yes. you can walk, photo, yes. picture. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay. I also want to eat yeah. somewhere. Okay. Uh, also, uh, floating restaurant. Yes, floating yes, food. yes. So that was the itinerary plan for the boat trip if you uh, could get it so we would be going for a uh, uh, silversmith for fishermen for lotus uh, farming to pagoda and then some tobacco so there are like almost eight or nine uh, items on today's itinerary This is the floating garden of uh, tomatoes. These are tomato plantations on this. This is like a small Venice of uh, Myanmar. There are like fishermen houses. There is a pagoda. And these are restaurants. Let's see which one we are going for. Because I am hungry. It's 
since last night i i had a good meal in the night but then still i'm feeling very hungry restaurant we came uh, so this is the restaurant we came for lunch dominated by uh, Myanmar tourists right now hardly any foreigner except me oh hey tu tiori na meng na ba meng na ba how are you sendire ni ate Salad. It looks amazing. Got the coconut tea leaf salad, and this is my uh, fried fish with beans. Yes. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, this is fried fish with beans. Fried fish with butter bean and a tea leaf salad. Thank you. the next uh, activity on this boat trip which is uh, something related to the lotus flower something they make out of this lotus flower so let's go and check it out many restaurants are closed i think before covid this all restaurants were uh, this was like a very happening place lotus silk and cotton and living center you are welcome you can see the lotus okay. i'll display for you so what is happening here yes Okay. Mm -hmm. Inside the fiber, you can plant. 
Oh. Yes. It's coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, yes. Yeah. So she's making the fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay. For uh, one scarf, you need four thousand lotus strings. Yeah. Uh, she make it like this one day, just 10 meters to finish. Mm -hmm. okay. We make it dress at 20 days for the smaller scarf. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we buy Mandalay, Kalatin, and Pagan, we made here. Not since that we make it only in anyway. So this is uh, silk. And this is all cotton. Cotton. Okay. Trees are grown, and so this is a light day. Two brothers, so S and Don, captain. Also, mm. no mention by head and hands. So, these people are in the business of uh, boat making, boat repairing, and refurbishment. So, this is a second hand boat they have just refurbished. They are uh, making out of teak wood. And this whole boat, new, if you buy, it will cost you $2,800. That one, uh, the fishing boat the green one that would cost approximately nine hundred dollars so quite expensive this is for making the pearl same wool making so the optic mm -hmm. this is uh, for a fry to eat it inside never smoked yeah yes yeah, never smoked before This is a sherody. So, uh, yeah, what is this plant? Yeah, what is sherody. This sherody. Yeah, sherody was in a mountain. Okay. This is a glue. Mm -hmm. Sticky mm -hmm. rice, rice glue. Okay. Sticky rice. Yeah. And this is tobacco. Where do you grow yeah, this yeah, tobacco? Tobacco was a Shanstay mountain. Uh -huh. Sherody was in a mountain. Okay. Yeah. This is a corn has. This is a corn has. Mm -hmm. This is a newspaper and cigar feta. The filter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a fire, there's a smoke. Uh, this filter. This filter, there's a smoke. Uh, okay. Where you come from? I come from India. India huh? Very nice. What she's making same? Yeah, there's a strong one. Strong one. Yeah, there's a very strong one. Okay. One day, one lady, so 500 feet a day. 
One day. One day, one person, five hundred sugar. Five hundred finish. And oh. where, where you sell them? Morning so nine o'clock, finish evening so five o'clock. And where do you sell them? Yes. Where you sell, like? Just uh, inle. Only in inle. Yeah, yeah, only inle. Only in Anna, only. Okay. No another. No yangun, no, no mandle. No mandle, no. Okay. Any. It's only here. And you have any brand? Yeah. Brand. Yes. What is your brand name? Uh, uh, yes, this is my name, so my name is this one. Okay. My nice. name is company, yes. And how much nice. How much money it cost? Yeah, this one, so one pound, so 25 inside. Mm -hmm. This is one pound, so 15,000. 15,000 for one yes, box? 25 inside. Okay. Yes. Okay, nice. Nice. So I'm dead tired but uh, just pushing myself to see the main main attractions we saw the lotus weaving center then we went for this uh, cigar making and uh, boat making shop i also wanted to see the sunset on this river which is uh, like very good to see the sunset on this river on this lake but it seems there will be no sunset because you can see on my back like huge clouds are covering the sun now we are going to some bridge and then we see the possibility if we are able to see the sunset let's see on that uh, similar bridge which is there in Mandalay so this is here in Inle Lake also this is some settlement of people fishermen sunset was a uh, bad luck today suddenly some clouds came and no possibility to see proper sunset This is interesting how they are growing tomatoes here. I think they uh, collect this some mud and then they make like uh, lanes and then they are planting these tomato trees with these structures for the trees to hold on, tomato plants to hold on. Interesting. Can you see the moon? in this scenery so I am here for the next uh, two more days I am planning to go to uh, two three more attractions one of them is this Indian Indian village over there there are many uh, this pagodas and uh, there is a good viewpoint and we'll see what else we can see here in Nong Shui Inle and uh, after that I'll be heading to Bagan I'm just now thinking that uh, what is the best option I should choose for uh, going to Bagan bus is definitely not a good option until and unless it's a good bus or uh, sleeper bus properly you can uh, stretch your feet legs and sleep otherwise it's a mess the torture so I'll look for a better option in bus if I don't get a better option in bus then maybe I don't know, some shared taxi we will see we will see at least I have a good hotel here in Inle so I can uh, rest two days and enjoy the rest of the sightseeing Quite interesting place this in Le.
interesting day. I was uh, quite tired whole day because I didn't sleep all night yesterday. So anyway, pushed on to see all these attractions on this Inle Lake, and now I will head back to my hotel, get some rest. We will end this vlog here. This was Inle Lake for you. Boat ride and uh, all the attractions that you can see in Inle Lake. Uh, dinner looks like this avocado salad some rice I'm not feeling well, very well but very tired from the whole day yesterday night and uh, so opted for something like very light the place where I had uh, dinner something with uh, you can see so I had like a premium soup, one uh, ginger lemon tea, small portion of rice and an avocado sa salad. So this costed me 300 rupees INR. And uh, it's not uh, very late, it's just 8.30 and the whole place is shut. So I just uh, found out this restaurant close to my uh, hotel. It's like a local restaurant. So, but it was good. The food was good. No any problem. It was great. The uh, thing with this, uh, like even in Yangon, uh, apart from that street where you, like there was a lot of food. <coughs> so even in Yangon, like everything got shut down at uh, 7 30 like all the shops restaurants started shutting down at 7 30 even here <coughs> i had no intention to go out but then i took a hot shower and then i got the energy to go eat some food but the place is nice it's an amazing place